here's going to be a short video um, of my attempt to rewind these club car series motors. As you can see, I've got two of them here. One of them I've already removed the field coils. And this one I'm getting ready to. There's nothing really wrong with this motor here. Um, just want to see how much added performance I can give them. Um, by changing the amount of turns in the field. This one here, as you can see, I've had it pretty hot. Um, and I think one of you had mentioned how easy it would be if I could remove the core to rewind it, which it would be quite a bit easier to um, rewind these coils if the core was out, but uh, that would require me pressing out this and then hoping it stays together and instead of trying to mess with that I'll take the extra time and just try and rewind it inside the casing but this motor here, let me see if I can find it where did I put the wire? this is one of the coils that came out of this you can see it got pretty hot. But six turns per core. Um, wound in a series. From one to the next, to the next, to the next. And from the S1 and S2 terminals in between of those. Um, as soon as the wire gets here that I ordered to rewind this, I'm um, definitely going to be putting up more videos for that. Um, another thing I want to touch on is the um, your brushes. I know it's really kind of hard to see, but you can see this brush here. That section right there that's lighter wasn't making contact. So if you put a new set of brushes in, it really does take a little bit of time. I ran this motor for, I don't know, a good six months. And I did quite a bit with it, but you can see how the brushes aren't quite wore in yet. So the transfer into the armature, a couple of them, of course, are worn in pretty good. But, uh, and if you're curious, this is what you're... the whole assembly looks like inside if you've never had a motor apart before um, but on this rewind I'm gonna reuse the studs you can see I cut them off now I'm not gonna try to tack weld them to this I'm gonna clean this end up wrap the wire around and solder them in real good at least I'm hoping that'll hold it should be pretty good and as far as the armature from this motor here it's right here nice and shiny and clean comes in pretty good shape it has been a little hot there's some flaking of the uh, coating on the wires but it should be alright I don't know if you can see it there but nothing's touching so I should be good Here's from the stock one. It's been sitting for a while. And these guys are pretty heavy. Clean up the comb. Rewind that one. But I think what I'm going to do is rewind this one for speed. With less turns. And wind this guy for torque. With more turns. So you can see the windings are still in there um, six turns per core and I'll do seven possibly eight depending on how hard this wire is um, to wind inside of there 
the chair. Over. Uh, see that there. Brushes are still in pretty good shape, and this was actually the original motor that came in my cart. Um, busted off one of the terminals, but that's no biggie. Um, yeah. So, stay tuned.